This is Blade again from Cardio Security and today we're looking at a brand new Kenwood unit, the KDC BT665U. Okay, so the BT665U, what do we have here? So this is a brand new singled in stereo from Kenwood. This has hands-free calls, Bluetooth streaming, a CD player, USB, um, iPod connection, and also Amazon Alexa built in. So let's open it up and we'll go through the features. Okay, so we have the unit unboxed here. As you can see, there's not really much to it as a singled in stereo, so there's not too many components. So we'll go through them quickly. So first of all, you have your main ISO harness. So there's a 16 pin harness to go directly in the back of the stereo, then going to ISO. This is universal across the board through all of your branded stereos. Now this will go into your vehicle if you have an older vehicle, or you would need an adapter to convert it to this plug to go to your vehicle's plug. Now from there we have the Bluetooth microphone, so that's for your hands-free call so the person on the other end of the line can hear you. Um, obviously you plug that into the back of the stereo and then run it up to your sun visor or headlining so they can hear you. And then we have your instructions, very important, make sure you read through these before operating the unit, make sure you understand it fully. And then you have the unit itself. From Kenwood with their single in stereos, you've got your volume knob here, your display and all of your buttons. Obviously we'll power it up and we'll show you that in a second. Obviously this is a face off unit as well. So all you need to do is push this button in the corner, it, the face will pop out. So you can take it away with you for security purposes and you can just pop it back in. Now it is a full chassis stereo. So it's a full depth unit. It will come with a cage on it. Just make note that the cage will come on backwards. So very common issue with these when they come out of the box. They put the cage on backwards because you need to take the cage off, fit that first, and then fit the stereo in. So make sure you're aware of that. Back of the stereo, very, very simple. You have your main power loom connection here. This is a 16 pin connection there. And obviously you have a 10 amp fuse next to it. Now over this side, in the middle, you have a heat sink just to keep the unit cool. Over this side, you have your mic connection, which I mentioned earlier. You have two pre-outs on this unit, so it's not a three pre-out unit. You have a dedicated front output, and then you have a switchable rear or subwoofer output. And then also you have your FM antenna connection. Okay, so now that we've gone through the physical features of the stereo, let's power it on, and we'll show you the internal features. Okay, so we have our power connection here. We're gonna plug the unit up, and we'll show you the startup time. So we're gonna plug in the three, two, one. We go so it's not the fastest start of time in the world but when you've obviously turned the vehicle on you're probably not going to notice that weight there so obviously it's, the first time you turn it on it's going to ask you to set all your language date and time and all that kind of thing so we're going to quickly skip through that but obviously you want to set your language cancel your demo and then you come to the main screen okay so it's going to come to standby here so this button over here is your source selection. So a long press will turn the unit off and then a short press will skip through all your sources. So let's show you that now. So it's currently in standby, press once for your FM radio and then you can scroll through. We'll show you that in depth in a second. USB, Bluetooth audio, aux, and then back to standby. So let's first of all show you radio. So obviously stand, standard procedure, these buttons here, so it's a skip button, will go through your different stations. And then once you found the correct station you would like, you would press and hold whatever station you'd want to set it to. So your preset you want to set, set it to. So one, two, three, four, five, or six. Press and hold and it will save that station there. Now, next is USB. Now that's pretty self-explanatory. So behind this little flap here, you have your USB port. So if you want to play music via a USB stick or from your phone, you can do that. This also has a Android fast charged ability. So you plug your phone in with an Android cable and it will fast charge the, the phone. And then underneath there you have auxiliary. So it's probably going to get to that next, that's Bluetooth. So Bluetooth, obviously you want to pay your phone to that. It will allow you to sync your contacts. You can then press the phone button. It will then allow you to go through your contacts in the list, select that person and you can make a call. This button will also double up as a uh, answer or decline call button. So if you get a phone call, you can answer or decline it with that. And then next we have aux, again, which is pretty self-explanatory. Auxiliary is just a three and a half mil jack. So you can play music through there if you'd like. Now, obviously you do have a CD slot here. 
pop your CD in. To take it out, you press this button at the top, it will eject, eject the CD. Now, to get into the settings of the unit, you press the volume button down once, and you can scroll through your settings. So you have quite a lot of audio control settings on here. You have an easy EQ, a manual EQ, and a preset EQ. So those are basically easy EQs going through bass, treble, and mid. And then if we go back, so this is your back button just here. Manual EQ is to go through all of the different frequencies to turn them up or down, if you know what you're doing with that. And then a preset EQ is what most people are used to. You've got your natural pop, rock, all that kind of thing. And then bass boost, loudness, fader and balance, volume offset, sound effects, speaker size, crossover. You, you've got loads and loads of sound settings, basically. So let's come back out of there. Now display control, now this is a uh, RGB display so you can set it to whatever color you would like and it's two way so you can set the outer color to be blue for instance and the inner color to be green if you'd like. You can go to all zone, zone one or zone two. So if you go say all zone and then you can change the custom RGB, you can literally scroll through, you want a bit more red, a bit more green, whatnot. But then you can scroll through all the different colors that they have and set the whole screen to be that certain color. Now, usually what we suggest, uh, unless you want to do it any other way, you would set your color of this to whatever color your clocks are at night time. That's, that's usually the best thing to do, obviously, in the vehicle. Tuner settings, there's not really much you need to change with that. USB is what's compatible. And then Bluetooth mode, obviously, if you want to uh, go back to another phone that you've paired or delete a phone that you've paired. So that is pretty much it, the basics of the unit. Okay, so one last thing to show you before we finish the video is the Alexa functionality. Now you will need to download an app onto your phone for that to work, but essentially all it does is it means you can tell your stereo to tell your phone what to do. So you say Alexa, change the song to Bruno Mars, for instance. Um, but all you would need to do for that is you press this button here, it would pop up like an Alexa would at home, and then you tell your stereo what you want the phone to do. But obviously you just need to download the app, it's just gonna tell you that here. Okay, so the KDC BT665U. So that was a brand new singled in stereo from Kenwood. Now this unit, just to quickly run through the features again, has Bluetooth streaming, hands-free calls, CD player, USB, aux, and two pre-outs on the back. Now, just bear that in mind because if you're running a system that say a ampl fully amplified system in your car, say front, rear, and sub, you've only got two pre-outs on the back of this. So if you're looking for something that, with a bit more spec, maybe look for one of their higher end units uh, because this only has two pre-outs. And the only spec this has missing other than that is DAB. So if you're after a DAB unit, maybe look for something a bit higher up. But for price point, this is very, very good, especially for an entry, entry level unit like this. This is currently on our website at $139.99. Uh, but yeah, otherwise a very good unit. But, but that's pretty much it for me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.